Yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know. I've been gone for quite some time. So listen, this is what happened. So since the beginning of April, like I had family come out here every single week to come visit. And it's so exhausting playing tour guide because you're going to and from the strip and then you're showing everyone around and everyone's trying to have a good time and party and all that. I've been to Vegas so many times prior to moving here and I don't really go to the strip like that anymore at all. It, it was just so exhausting. But happy Cinco de Mayo, everyone. I'm so excited for today's meal. I was gonna do some filming um, like once my family left and everything and I got my last visitors, but I quite frankly needed a break because it's been hot lately and it's been exhausting, draining. So I just needed some time to just like whew, decompress and everything like that because woo, it is exhausting playing tour guy, let me tell you. But so today, gonna be making shrimp ceviche I'm so excited I've only had crab ceviche but I wanted to try shrimp this time so I can like you know try a little variety to see which one I like better and then we're gonna have tequila shots together so make sure you get your glasses ready at the end just gonna let you know and before we get going and to get to cooking this meal let me show you my experience with my family I won't wait this time no not now not again not much longer Heavy weight works my Mind all night It's so hot not to ponder Let's make it last forever Cause the night's still young Let's draw up to the pressure Every time you're gone As long as we're together Hey guys, welcome back, welcome back. So I'm gonna get started on my shrimp. I use half a pound of large shrimp and I cut them into fourths. If you have smaller shrimp, that is totally fine. Just cut them in half, whatever you have works. So yeah, believe it or not, I actually use all of these limes and lemons. I use half of the shrimp and then I use half for the rest of the ingredients. You want to make sure that the shrimp is fully submerged in the lime and lemon juice, that way it can cook thoroughly. So I was a bit confused about the shrimp. I was under the impression that you were supposed to let it quote unquote cook in the lime and lemon juice for an hour or two. And so that's what I did. I made sure it was cooked for two hours, but it was still slightly gray. So that raised a little bit of an eyebrow for me. But then once I researched it, I realized that a lot of people only cook, quote unquote, cook the shrimp for 30 minutes in the lime and lemon juice. So it's completely safe. I already did my research, so you have nothing to worry about. All right, so now we're gonna get started on the rest of our ingredients. And once you're done chopping everything, it's gonna place it into a bowl and then cover it with plastic wrap and put it into the fridge so it can, you know, do its magic as far as marinating is concerned. And as always, I will have the ingredients linked in the description below. I know the shrimp looks gray right here, but it's totally normal. I researched it, I had a bite, it was really, really good. I was very concerned as well. But the one thing you don't wanna do is overcook your shrimp in the lime and lemon juice.
And please don't come for me for my grease. Listen, I want to make sure that it's thoroughly used. That way I get the most out of it as I can. And it did not make a difference in my tostada. It was really, really good. And we're off to the plating. Thank you guys again for tuning in. I truly do appreciate the support. And thank you for understanding why I've been gone for so long. And from now on, I'm not going to be taking any long extensive breaks. None of that. But yeah, happy single to Mayo, everyone. Have a good day, guys. Woo, y'all. Woo, I'm ready to eat. I'm hungry. Do you see this? Do you see this? Look at this. Oh, this looks so good. All right. Ooh. I'm having troubles. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, that habanero didn't come to play with me today. It got a little soggy, the tostado, because I was like doing other shit. Like, once I was done plating, so yeah. So it just turned into a taco, I guess. This is unbelievably good. And folks, make sure you brush your teeth because this is very acidic, but it's very good. Oh yeah, this is really, really good. I will never buy ceviche again. Aha! Hmm. Um, you definitely don't, you definitely, you, <laughs> sorry, it's really hard. Um, you definitely don't have to put habanero on this, but I just wanted to because I really like spicy food. So I just used the rest for the different tostada, then, mm-hmm. Oh, I forgot. I for oh, this is so good, guys. Mm. <laughs> this is like top five. I know I, I, <laughs> I keep saying that, but it is so good. I do this to myself, I swear I do. Like, I have these scorpion pepper hot sauce in the fridge. Every day my mouth is burning. But, so I was a little concerned about the shrimp because I understand that it's supposed to marinate for one to two hours, but I was a little concerned because um, some parts of the shrimp were still gray. So I was like, what the hell? So I researched it and a lot of people marinated in the lime and lemon juice for like 30 minutes. So I basically overkilled it basically. <clears throat> I mean, it's still tender, it's still juicy, it's still good. And then I do feel that, oh, by the way, yeah. So if it is like a little slight gray or whatever, you're totally fine. If you feel a little uneasy about it, you can always poach your shrimp, but just be careful because you may overcook it. Mm. And then the mango was a really good addition to it because it kind of um, counteracts the spice a little bit. It's really good. Oh, forgot the tequila. All right, I'm back. I got my tequila. I got all the seeds too. And then I put jalapeno. Ooh, yeah. Anyways, I got my El Jimador. I believe that's how you pronounce it. If not, let me know in the comments. 
And then, um, yeah. I really like Mexican culture, so I wanted to, you know, do something for them and show my appreciation for the food, the culture, the hospitality, the friendliness, all that. And I believe Cinco de Mayo <clears throat> was celebrating the 1862 victory of beating the French in the, in the army, I believe, in Puebla. I learned this in school, but like I'm trying to like remember, correct me if I'm wrong. But yep, got my tequila, got my shot. Hope you guys got your shots as well. Oh, I got this little Las Vegas one. I know it's kind of dirty. But um, I got it when uh, my best friend was here and we went to the store and she said drama queen, huh? So she chose this one for me. And I'm like, I'm not dramatic. I mean, I can't be so much, but you know. But anyways, get your shots ready. Waiting, 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 waiting. I'm not gonna chase this with lime or anything because I don't want so much acid on my tea, so. All right, cheers to you guys. Cheers to Cinco de Mayo. Cheers to Mexican culture. Cheers to you guys. Salud, I think that's how you pronounce it. Just correct me if I'm wrong. I don't want to sound crazy. Wow, that is smooth. All right, guys, I am about to get this video edited for you guys. I'm not going to be taking any extensive long breaks anymore because literally every single week of April, I had family here every freaking week and it was so exhausting. But you know, when you live in a tourist city, it's kind of bound to happen. Ooh, I'm feeling that shot. <laughs> so let me hurry up and get off before things get out of hand. <laughs> Thank you guys again for tuning in, and I will see you guys next time. Happy Cinco de Mayo. You already know what time it is, y'all.